juba 9. korda kogunevad andekad, laulijad maailma erinevatest paikadest siia Pärnusse, et osa võtta Klaudia Taevi nimelisest noorte ooperi laulijate konkursist. Neil kõigil on selja taga juba neli rasket vooru ja kohe on algamas finaalid, kus parimatest parimad astuvad viimast korda auväärse süriiete. Klaudia Taev, kelle nime võistlus kannab, on legendaarne Pärnu laulupedagoog, kelle enda laulijade ei haiguse tõttu lühikeseks jäi ja kes seejärel pühendus pedagoogide üle. Ja räägitakse, et ka Georg Ots on temalt laulutunde võtnud. Klaudia Taevi ei ole meie ka enam 30 aastat, aga just tema nimepäeval laulavad kuus finalisti, kes on välja valitud 132 laulja hulgast. Ja neid toetab Pärnu Linnaorkester ja Erki Pehk. Erki, see konkurs on nii rahvusvahemine, aga kus on siis finaalis Eesti laulad? See on tõesti väga kurb, et eestlased selgkorral finaali ei jõudnud, kuigi peab ütlema, et kaks eestlast jõudsid julgelt esikümnesse. Ja kui ma kujutan ette näiteks spordivõistlust ja olümpiamängudel keegi saaks kaheksanda koha, siis ma arvan, et see oleks suur saavutus Eesti spordis. Ma arvan, et sama julgelt võib öelda, et kaks Eesti laulad, Areete Teemets ja Taara Saavinava on 132 laulja seast valitud esikümnes. Nii et kahjuks neil see kord ei õnnestunud saada kuue parema hulka, aga Taara ei võõtas, et ta tuleb tagasi. Suur aitäh sulle ja nüüd vist pead kohe kohe ka lavale minema. Jaa, see on tõsi. Võistluse esimene finalist on Jelena Prašnõk, 29-aastane Ukraina sopran, kes lõpetas kaks aastat tagasi Ukraina muusika akadeemia. Ta elab praegu Eestis ja kasvatab kahte tütart, kellest noorim on alles aastane.
Richard Millers on 25-aastane Läti bariton, kellel on parajasti käsi lõpingute lõpetamine Läti muusika akadeemias. Ta ütleb, et on üleni pühendunud muusikale ja vaba aega tal ei ole. Ja kui vaba aeg tekib, siis ta lihtsalt magaks.
29. aastase vene tenori Juuri Rostotski õppingud algasid kaugel Kamtšatkal, kuhu pere oli kolinud, sest isa on sõjaväelane. Praegu elab Juuri Moskvas ja oma magistrigraadi sai ta Moskva Gneesini nimelises muusikaakadeemias. Juuri armastab konkursse ja on neist mitmel ka edukalt esinenud. Kõige seitsme aastane Norra sopran Margarete Freedheim on õppinud nii Norras kui Mänhättani kõrgemas muusikakoolis. Ta on osalenud paljudel konkursidel ja leiab, et see on ainuke viis inimestele meelde jääda ja kord ka suurtele ooperilavadele jõuda.
Jung Chin Kim on pärit Lõuna-Koreast ja ta on 31-aastane. Kim õpib praegu Hamburgis ja loodab väga Euroopas tööd leida. 2013. aastal võitis ta Korea rahvuslikku lauluvõistluse. Oh, 
Kuues finalist on sopran Eeva Trats Poolast. Ta on 27-aastane ja õpib praegu ka Toovitse muusika akadeemia doktorantuuris. Pärast Pärnu konkursi lõppu on tal plaanis juba juunis minna osa võtma Tšaikovski konkursist Moskvas.
Поздравляю. Какой довольный. Очень довольна. Счастлива. Эмоции переполняют. Радость. Все прекрасно. Что пение и опера для вас значит? Ну, это жизнь моя, мое призвание. Я могу, я это делаю, я хочу это делать. Надеюсь, у меня получается. Вы из Украины, вы там учились. А сейчас живете в Эстонии. Что это значит? А, мой муж работает в театре, в хоре, в оперном театре. И мы переехали сюда с семьей. И поэтому здесь сейчас живем. А как вообще в Украине? Там есть время и сила людям идти в оперу? И... Ну, сейчас такая ситуация в Украине тяжелая, конечно, но все равно люди не забывают про искусство, про музыку, потому что музыка – это радость, это счастье, это свет, который, наверное, людям дает надежду какую-то. И, конечно, из изо всех сил люди стараются заниматься музыкой, петь, что-то творить, и это правильно, нельзя чтобы люди занимались только одной политикой. Культура – это очень важно, особенно в нашей стране сейчас. И если вы не поете, с чем вы тогда занимаетесь? Детьми. Своими детьми. So how, how are you content with your performance? It's a nice hall where to sing. It's very easy to sing. And uh, it was quite a long competition. I mean, so many tours. <laughs> oh, yes. Was it difficult? 
Yes, it is. The last two days I'm uh, fighting with headaches. <laughs> but yeah, it's tough competition and even uh, not uh, for the fourth uh, rounds, but uh, because of the good singers who are here and singing. That's, that was a little bit terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and, but it's good, it's difficult. We need to put the letters high. So what would be your future plans? My future plans? Oh, I have a busy summer. Uh, I have a few project, projects in Latvia and I need to finish my school. I'm master in uh, Jazub Svitol's Latvian Music of, uh, Academy. So, uh, and the ex exam is after six days or eight days. So I, I will we do that and afterwards I have whole summer something to do. And afterwards, uh, next year in uh, opera, we have a few parts which I need to learn, study and show to the main director and maybe decide to take me. <laughs> Is it easy to get a part in the, your big opera theater? Is there also a big competition? It's never easy. It's never easy because uh, singers are so many and they are so good. There are there are luck and that's all that I can say because this is one tough profession, really tough profession because there are few good singers who are singing and like two times more who are not singing. <laughs>
Вы довольны с выступлением? Да, я очень доволен, особенно второй арией. Первая ария была сначала для ощущения акустики, для ощущения зала, оркестра, а вторая ария уже с удовольствием пошла. Зачем надо петь на конкурсах? Вы знаете, я очень люблю участвовать на конкурсах, хотя многие говорят, зачем, это не так столь важно, но мне очень нравится участвовать в различных конкурсах, меня это держит в тонусе, меня это стимулирует, мне очень нравится атмосфера конкурсов, потому что на конкурсах выявляются самые сильные бойцовские качества певца, в хорошем смысле слова, и можно проявить себя по-настоящему в хорошей конкуренции. Как то вы... Узнали, что у вас такой огромный, хороший голос, и что надо стать петь и оперу. А, вы знаете, у меня а, с, с самого детства был голос, как говорят, природный голос, одаренный ребенок. У меня была природа и академическая постановка голоса. Не народная, не эстрадная, но вот классическая постановка голоса от природы. Поэтому я выбрал, конечно, классическую музыку, оперную музыку. Это мне близко. Я никуда не уходил в сторону, ни в джаз, ни в эстраду, ни в разные направления. А четко вот знал, что классика, опера – это вот мой путь. Как вы думаете, как важно все-таки, как ты выглядишь? Вы спортом занимаетесь? Да, конечно, я держу себя в тонусе, потому что сейчас в наш век, медийный век, век телевидения, очень важно держать себя в тонусе, очень хорошо выглядеть. Конечно, это очень важно. И внешность очень важная составляющая. В комплексе все должно быть и пение, и актерское мастерство, и музыкальность, и эрудированность, конечно, и внешность. И все это в комплексе дает хорошее восприятие певца для публики. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I see this competition and I thought, oh, this is interesting. And I've never been to Estonia. So it was a combination of a good competition with good prices and good exposure with uh, seeing a new country. Well, here has been so many tours. Did you have some time to look around? Oh, I looked it around a little bit. I've been down to the beach and I actually swam in the ocean. No. Yes, I swam in the ocean three days ago. It was wonderful. Uh, how do you see your future? What would be the theatres you want to sing at? Oh, I would like to start in Germany, I think, to sing at some of the smaller theatres. And then I hope, of course, that I will sing at the Met and La Scala and Covent Garden and, uh, yeah, in Berlin and in Vienna. You know, you hope you want to sing in these houses. That's my dream. What about but, that beautiful Norwegian new opera oh, house? Yes, that would be great too. <laughs> of course, I would love to sing there. I would love that. But um, I love to travel. So first, I think I want to be abroad, and then maybe come back to Norway after a few years. What do you do when you are not singing? Do you have any free time at all? Yes, I have free time, and I, it's very important to be a person outside the singing. I think it's very important to do other things than singing so I try to do that and I love to be in nature and in Norway I love to hike go in the mountains and I love to swim I swim all year round uh, in the winter also <laughs> and uh, I love to of course be with friends and but it's very important for me to be outside in the nature I love that
How it went, how content you are with your performance? It's very hard to sing in this repertoire, so I don't know exactly, so how can I, how do I, how did I, did I sing, and I don't know. But how did you feel? I am satisfied to sing because it is very hard to come the final round, and yeah, the, the reason why I'm so happy how did you come to this competition? Uh, as you know, um, one of my best friends, he's Jimin Park. Yeah. But this day he is very high high career and when I young days I respect him. And so and I also saw the in South, uh, 2007 he, he got the one prize this in competition. So oh at the time, I will, I will try that. Oh, please, please. Yeah, something like that. So I, the reason I, I came here, thanks God for giving me this time because it is very hard to come in here because I already married and this now we have two children. So as you know, it, it is very ha hard to care of my babies. It is very hard to do because they have a totally strong energy so oh. <laughs> but I, I I did my best and just I played my babies Thank you. 
How do you feel? How was the competition? How were you on the stage? On the stage is very great. Alvin's is very nice and, and kind and helps. Uh, I, I feel fantastic. Are you happy with your results? Yes, yes I am happy and I, I think uh, it was, was okay. So, how did you start to sing? I started to sing uh, 10 years ago uh, in, high school, uh, in high school in Zamość, in Poland. And why opera and not, I don't know, jazz or...? Uh, because uh, in my high school uh, uh, was only pedagogue, only teacher uh, who teach uh, sing opera sing. And I, 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 I love, I love sing and I try, I try study opera and I love this, this music because it's, it's beautiful, emotional and fantastic. And if you are not singing, what do you do then? I love, I like cooking. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Work in kitchen and prepare meals. And, and, yeah. <laughs> Finalistid on oma kaks saariat esitanud. Nüüd algab hindajate töö raskeim osa punktide andmine. Süri, mille tööd juhib nimekas laulja Karan Armstrong, saab välja anda kolm preemiat suurusega 4000 eurot, 3200 ja 2400 eurot. Kolmas koht läheb jagamisele Mäti Paritoni Richard Millersi ja Vene Tenor Juurilos Totski vahel. Süri peab teise koha vääriliseks Eeva Tratsi Poolast. 9. Klaudia Taevi nimelise noorte ooperilaulijate konkursi võitja on Sung Chung Kim Lõuna-Koreast, kes võib koju 4000 eurose peapreemia. The decision, was it difficult to make? Yes, yes, very difficult to make. And we had several with the numbers the same, so we had then to go again and judge again. It was very difficult. As you heard, all six of the singers were really wonderful, and they will make careers, they will all make careers, and that's what we're here to see and, and, and help them do. And what made the Kim winner? Um, I think it's, it's a combination of the musicality, uh, the beauty of the sound, um, of course, he had he had uh, arias that everyone knows and loves. That also is wonderful. Um, but it's all of them are winners. There's, it's not really that one is a top winner. It's that we were categorized. We have to say one, two, three, and four because of the prizes. But all of them are winners, and um, it was so close. I mean, it was within you know two and three votes. So it was extremely close, which is a compliment to all of the singers. Mm -hmm.